So I'm no fireplace expert, but I must say all this insulation it was tied in here and all the rodent droppings and all this paper and all this other stuff that was surrounding the fireplace and all the insulation up in there. I'm afraid to pull this thing out. Who knows what's under there? I mean, there's a hole. These bricks are loose. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to use my phone as a flashlight here. But, I mean, the fire would just go right through there. All up and through here. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Got to start somewhere, right? But these little vents, I don't know what they broke out these bricks for. It wasn't original. Because you can see they, they chopped out these bricks and just shoved them back there. Uh, whether they did that to create drafts or not drafts and then decided to plug it up with that who knows but uh you know got to start somewhere right all right here we are again um got the fire placed out it was probably about two three hundred pounds i vacuumed it out there's the pit that goes out the back there's supposed to be a door here too that i had found when i closed up the back had rusted through and fallen down there so i Pulled that out, so I just vacuumed that out, vacuumed that out. Uh, just to get it cleaned out of the way, kind of, so I can start on the bricks doing this next. Not sure what's going on there, but uh, I'm sure when we take these things down, we're going to cause some kind of issue there. The idea is if I build the plywood out to at least there, I don't have to worry about what's going on up there. And we can take the stone right here, right up to the drywall, or a little bit out, that's fine. I mean, the cabinets we're going to build out here, bookcase, they're going to be at least 10 or 12 inches out up here anyway. So we should be good. Um, I still need to take some of these pieces out. So I always wondered what this cord was, and I had plugged it in before, and it had worked. It turned on. It's not now. Um, I thought it had gone to the fireplace as like a blower. But what I realized is there's a fan in here. They had this thing shoved in with insulation back there, and you can see the fan blades in the grill. And then they had this little metal plate over it, but when we first moved in, I plugged it in to see what it was, and I figured it was for the fireplace. But no, it's for this fan that had all this insulation, and who knows what's behind there. Is there ductwork behind there going somewhere? I have no idea. So, kind of anxious to get this taken apart and see where everything, where everything is. Um, a lot of brick issues, you know, this is probably why they threw that insert in here is this was unsafe as a fireplace anymore. There's a ton of insulation up inside here. Um, unsafe all around. I mean, the, the flue is packed with insulation. You can't see. I had to, like, knock that thing off to get it off because the screws were all rusted out. Um, but this is where we are right now. So the next step will be start from the top. Take a row of bricks down. I'm hoping the insulation upstairs doesn't fall out through there. So we might have to tape something up there after the first one to keep insulation up there. Or just quickly put a board up there or something. We'll figure it out when we get there. Um, but that's where we're at right now.